It was an autumn statement for growth, said the Chancellor. It was ho, 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 Jeremy Hunt. A pre-Christmas giveaway as the Tories roll the dice and try and narrow Labour's commanding lead in the opinion polls. First up, a big upgrade in benefits for people of working age. They'll go up 6.7% from next October, from next April. That's in line with the October inflation number. That's worth £470 a year for 5 million of the UK's lowest income households. There was a giveaway for pensioners as well. The triple lock confirmed the basic Basic state pension will go up by 8.5% from April 2024, an inflation-busting rise. That's worth £900 a year for recipients of the basic state pension. The minimum wage also went up. Governments like announcing higher minimum wages because businesses pay. It's going up by over a pound from 10.42 to 11.44 per hour. And it will also apply for 21 and 22 year olds rather than just from 20, for 23 year olds as of now. The Chancellor has been working with Business Secretary Cammy Badenoch on a strategic manufacturing fund. The government's earmarked four and a half billion pounds. That's serious money for investments. By 2030, there's going to be a focus on automotives, aerospace, clean energy, life sciences. The government providing matching funding for when private sectors invest. There was an extension of the investment zone and free ports programme, which Chancellor Jeremy Hunt outlined in March. The tax reliefs within these low, these low tax zones will be extended from five to ten years. And there'll be new investment zones in the West Midlands, the East Midlands and Greater Manchester as part of the levelling up policy. For small businesses, business rates are much hated tax that you pay, even if you make no revenue, that's going to be frozen for small businesses for another year. And in particular, there'll be a moratorium on business rates for the retail and hospitality sectors for another year, a lockdown era emergency measure that's going to be extended. And here were the two big tax cuts. For employees on national insurance, the basic rate of national insurance will fall from 12 to 10 percent from January, not April next year, but from January. That's worth £450 a year for somebody who's lucky enough to earn £35,000 a year. And then the big tick to tax cuts for business, permanent full expensing. That means firms can partially offset investments against their corporation tax bill. Chancellor Jeremy Hunt called that the largest business tax cut in modern British history. So this was, as the Chancellor and the Prime Minister says, a huge boost in their eyes to British com competitiveness in an autumn statement for growth. But guess what, GB News viewers and listeners? Despite all these talk of tax cuts and the tax cuts were significant, as a result of these measures, the overall UK tax burden, the share of GDP that we pay in tax, just went up.